Listen, Tommy, I have a delicate job for you. I don't know anyone else who could do it better than you. You're a good driver, and you have experience. Well, to make it simple, tomorrow all the best motors are going to race at the city track. And I bet on one kid who's been a favorite up until now. I helped him along in his career a little. I like fast cars, and I said to myself that I could make back a little on that investment. You understand. And then Ralphie starts saying that some European has come over, and his car is certain to win. Ralphie knows cars. He's real good with them. But otherwise, he's a complete moron. What, he couldn't have told me before I bet on the kid? But still, what the hell is a guy, God knows from where, doing here? These are American races. Me and the consigliere here were thinking about what to do. Because a lot of our boys have bet the same as me, and they certainly wouldn't be happy if they lost their dough. And how would that make me look? Like an old idiot. Tommy, I can't let that happen. We thought, with our consigliere, about what to do with it. If something happens to him, that's no way. It won't be fair play. I won't enjoy my winning at all. Ralph told me that he knows a guy who guards the racetrack garage. Tonight, you're gonna go there and take this European's car to a but mechanic who knows his way around these machines. He'll take a look at theirs and maybe improve ours. As soon as he's finished working on it, you'll take it back. It's important that the car is back in its place before anybody catches on. And don't even think but about crashing it or getting I... caught by the cops. Are we clear? Yes, boss. If you pull it off, you'll of course get a share of the winnings. Now go. Ralph will tell you where and how. All right, uh, everyone, welcome to episode numero trois. That's French for three, in case you didn't know. I'm Michael, your gracious, elegant, sexy host. What's going on, Don? You look a little down. You know, you're rich. You're this. You wouldn't think it. You'd walk into this place and you'd be like, oh, look at this old schmuck. Just some old geezer. Well, little do you know, he controls the whole fucking city. Anyways. We're gonna, uh... Let's go and see... Can I get anything from Vinny? Vincenzo, my good friendo. Call it friendo. Heads or tails. Okay. I guess, uh... Vinny doesn't want to sell us any weapons. Is Ralph in here? Hey, Ralph. You or you are just a workaholic. Hey, Ralphie, you got some news about this job? Sh 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 sure, Tommy. You need to go to the s s city racetrack and borrow that m m m m m motor there. My p friend b b b Bobby works there. Go around back there and uh, along the w way is the gate gatehouse. T t t t tell Bobby that the Ralph sent you and Bobby will take you to the car. I it's already been agreed w w w with him. And then? You just have to take it to the auto service of my f f friend, Luca Bertoni. It's in Newark under the Giuliani Bridge. He'll t t t t take a look at it and, and t t tune it a little. And then you just take it back. This should be easy enough. But you, you, you gotta t get it done before 1.15 a.m. when the g g guard changes. Today, so that Junior! ...knows that somebody drove the motor in the night. There can't even be a scratch on it. And, 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 and try to avoid the cops. They, 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 they mustn't catch you. Hmm. And how'll I get there? Oh. Ralph has a plan for how we get there. This beauty. Oh, look at that. That's that's for royalty, you know? Queen of England's gonna pull up to a 7-Eleven in one of those, and she's gonna be like, I want a Slurpee! I'm the Queen of England, bitch! Get me one! You know? And they'll give her one for free. It's funny how it works. The richer you are, the less things you have to pay for. Well, I got something new in. Ain't no big thing to s s swipe one. Alright, show me. Watch. 
you just stick a piece of w w wire in here and I can't stick it a, a, can't a see. And you get inside where you got to join these two wires. You're standing you're standing in the way. I I'm not learning what you're teaching. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, Rafi. Tommy, don't, don't lie. Don't you a gas, Tom. <laughs> All right, we got the Schubert 6. 6 is my favorite number. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. You want to know why? Because it's the first perfect number. All of the numbers that go into it also add up to it. So like, 1, 2, and 3 all go into 6. Like, you know, 1 times 6, 6. 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 2. So when you add 1, 2, and 3, they equal 6. It's kind of cool. And I think the next one is, the next perfect number is, wait, where am I going? Going this way. The next perfect number is 28 because you've got uh, 1, 4, 7, and 14. So 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 7 is 12. Wait, is it 28? 14. I don't. 7. I'm missing something. Anyways, just just go on Wikipedia and be like, perfect number. They'll tell you that shit. Or maybe it's 24. Because you got 12, 8, and 6. Nope, it's not that. Hmm. I'm confusing myself. Plus, I'm trying to focus on this uh, darn dude. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Don't honk your horn and don't cut me off. And what's this guy doing flashing his lights? Okay, so we gotta go and find this uh, fancy European car. I'm hoping it's gonna be nice. I mean, I actually know it's gonna be nice. I'm I'm playing dumb for the sake of of wonder. You know, you know the sense of wonder. If you've lost a sense of wonder in life, you've pretty much lost that life altogether. You know, if you can't if you can't look out into the world and be like, oh wow, that's amazing and just wanna know how it works and why it is there and this and that, you know, then why why are you living? I mean don't go and kill yourself or anything. There's so many things to live for, just this the key to life is learning to appreciate things, big and small. Okay? I think it's important that people you can analyze things differently. Just step back. Doesn't doesn't make a difference if it's something very complex or something very simple. All right, that's your that's your homework. Foxman is giving you some homework. Go out, find something, and just study it and try and figure out how the fuck it works. Can I get? Wait. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hey, Ethan. Hey, hey Bobby. Be Ralph's friend. That's right. Okay, we'll take your car. You're taking my no. You're not gonna take my car. You're gonna let it go through. This guy has a shitty job. You know, most security guards get this. Just sit there all day in a nice. Why is this not going? Oh, he's coming to get in. Uh huh. Go in and over to the garage. All right. Um, yeah, most security dudes get to actually sit in the building, read their newspaper, their magazine, their Playboy, whatever, and just push a button. That guy's got to get out every time and push that thingy up and down. I mean, I'm sure it's not a super high traffic kind of area, but still, in the wintertime, that'd be, that'd be a bitch. Alright, things are quiet here. I guess I'll park it here. Okay. Okay, we're here, buddy. Come on, we haven't got a lot of time. Bobby, Bobby, you're the one who's slowing me down, okay? You think you're fancy with that hat, you know, and that sweater vest? You think you, you think you're distinguished? Okay, is that it? 
Yeah, buddy, be real careful. There can't even be a scratch on it. And avoid the cops like the devil, because this car will be real obvious. That's right. In about half an hour, the second guard will come. So you gotta be back by then, buddy. And be real careful, that car goes fast. Maybe it's the fastest car in the world, who knows? Oh. Sure, Bobby, no problem. I'll take care of it in a half hour. Just a man in a pinstripe suit getting in one of the world's, probably the world's fastest car. No biggie. Let's see how this puppy goes. Oh god, I'm scared. Woo! Hold on to your dicks, we're going! Oh, listen to that baby roar. Oh yeah, how many cylinders has this got? Like 8,000? Fuck yeah! Oh man. Okay, I, I better... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh. It didn't look like I was kind of out of control there, but... I kind of was. I admit, Foxman made a boo-boo. But... We got a damage meter, so that's cool. Looks like they're just kind of... Being a little dramatic when they say not even a scratch. But still, I mean, we're not gonna... Oh, fuck. I'm not even going to put the speed limit on this because the cops won't catch me. They'll never catch me. I'm the fastest killer alive. i got to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Oh, oh. You guys have no idea how horny this is making me. I'm not even sure I'm allowed to let the cops see me, though. Like, uh... they might just automatically attack me. Which one do I take? Okay, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the drawbridge dealio. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna take the the Giuliano bridge because we can go faster. Oh wait, that's not the Giuliano. Is that, that's the Giuliano? No, that's the underground. Whatever, don't give me shit, okay? I'm still learning how to get around the city in the most efficient means. We're going. We're going. Oh god, the brakes! The brakes don't work! The brakes don't work! Uh, gotcha. You guys, you guys thought I was serious. But I wasn't. Okay, we're in a tunnel though. This is dangerous. I haven't seen a single cop yet. The cops just not work during the night. You know, people still get killed at nighttime. In fact, they're probably more likely to get killed at nighttime. Because it's dark and you can't see shit. There's not as many people around to be like, Hey! Stop stabbing that person! Stop it, mister! You know? There aren't people around. Okay, yeah, this is the bridge I wanted to go on. Get ready. Oh, fuck. That guy gonna jump? Jump, do it, do it, jump, jump, you pussy. All right, whatever. Let's come down. See, I'm an excellent driver. Are you guys excited? They should put me in this uh, fancy racing event. Not some stuck-up driver. Plus, I would actually go to the event in the, in this suit. Wouldn't even wear goggles or a helmet or nothing. Okay. Oh, all right, nice. Hey there, you're from Mr. Salieri, right? I'm Lucas Bertoni. Hi, I'm Tom. They say you can take the bite out of this monster. I reckon so. Well, you'd better get moving. We only have 27 minutes left. Hmm. That ain't much time. It took me three minutes to deliver this car. Fuck yeah. I'm good. Real good. We'll see what could be done. You can hang out a while. Are we smoking, Tommy? Don't you know those things kill? Cancer sticks. Come on, man. We got a long life ahead of us. We can't be uh, fighting off cancer in our final years. We, we gotta be fighting off babes. 
Hot babes. Mm, smooth nicotine. Come on, Lucas. Hey, how's it going in there? Just finished. You can go. Thanks, man. Uh, but you're gonna have to hurry. It ain't gonna run as well as when you first brought it in. Thanks. Mr. Salieri appreciates your work. Sure. Give my regards to him. If he ever needs anything again, I'd be glad to help out. I'd bet on the same driver as him. Good to know you're on our side, buddy. Wait, which way am I going? Yep. I don't know, this thing still seems pretty beefy. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, fuck! Whoa! That was close. Real close. I came within centimeters. That's metric for really fucking close. Okay? Oh, wow. I wonder if the guy's still on the bridge. You think he jumped yet? Oh, yeah. Something's up there. What are you, what are you pleading for? Like, you trying to convince people why you should kill yourself? Just do it already. Stop being an attention whore. Or don't do it. Like, just come home and eat some poutine. Seriously, dude? Do you know how good poutine is? Yeah, I'll go this way. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. You have a little too much. The torque on this thing is unbelievable. Surprise it's not popping wheelies. Sure is making me pop some boners. I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. I am the baddest of them all. Gotta be careful. But I don't want to. I just want to go to. Let's uh, take this puppy to the Salt Lake Flats. That would be fun. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Cool, we're cool. Be cool. Be cool. Uh, I guess I'll go around. I got plenty of time, right? Right? Come on, guys. Please reaffirm me. I don't like being uncertain. I don't think I've ever gone this way in the game. Hello, lady. What are you walking up here for? In the dead of night. You have literally no reason to be here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh! Oh man. These Lost Heaven residents are a little kooky. Uh, Alright, this way. Cut me close. Lucas hadn't have taken such sweet time with this car. We wouldn't have to rush and potentially s screw everything up. We crash this thing, we're fucked. Alright, Lost Heaven Racing Circuit, here we come. Oh yeah. Okay, now. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa. <laughs> this is fun, but also risky and dangerous. I ain't stopping for nobody. Pushing 90. Okay, okay. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Pump. Fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. We almost hit that barrel of oil. We probably would have caught on fire. This is actually a miracle. I think this is the first time I've ever done this mission. Without having to restart or... Oh, I touched it! But it didn't do any damage. So that's okay. Watch me completely crash it right now. Phew! Hey, Bobby. Put that shit out outside, not inside. So you pulled it off, buddy. And the car isn't even scratched. Thanks, Bobby. It really was the fastest car in the world. Sure is. <laughs> We're lucky you managed it. I bet on the Don's car, too. It seems everybody did. I bet on it. So did almost everybody in my neighborhood. I figure the driver's pretty important, too. Sure. Well, I won't keep you. Good night. Take care, Bobby. Thanks for the help. 
I love you, Bobby. Hey, wait, since we're alone, you want me to just get on my knees and thank you? Hey, where are you going? You were enjoying that, and you know it. You big goof. All right. Fine, I'm going. I don't need you. I don't need anybody, okay? I can find love in myself. All right, let's let's split. Oh wow, this seems a lot slower. It's drastically slower. I it's the same, but it feels so much slower. Wow. That's an amazing phenomenon. You know, whenever you're driving on a highway or something, I guess you Yankees are used to going, what, uh, like 60 miles per hour or 80 miles per hour or some shit like that on your highways? I don't know. In Canada, it kind of varies. Um, in Ontario, the speed limit is 100 kilometers, which is, which is 60 miles per hour. Although most people go 120. That's kind of like the unwritten law. No cop is going to bust you for 120. Not usually. Uh, unless they're really pressing to meet their, their quota. Uh, where I am living right now, Saskatchewan, speed limit is 110 kilometers. So a little faster. But again, most people go 120, 130. Depends. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then when you when you get off a highway, though, that, yeah, that's the point I was trying to make. And you're like, oh, you got to drive 60 kilometers an hour. Which is like, what? Oh shit, 35 miles or... Wait, 50 miles is 80 kilometers. Yeah, it's whatever. Oh, jeez, buddy. Take it easy on that turn. You just feel like you're going so much slower than when you were going 60 kilometers before you got on the highway. Or freeway. I don't know what you guys call it down there. You're all crazy with your your American lingo. But that's what this car feels like right now. Before going 40 kilometers, like, oh shit, I'm gonna get busted by the cops. And now I'm just like, oh shit, I'm not moving. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. Also, this car handles like shit. It can't turn worth a sh like, I don't know. It's like that, uh, little racer we had it was like on a dime boom 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 the only limiting thing was actually the tires the rubber on it this thing's just like you know it's manual steering you know let's throw some power steering fluid in this puppy make it a little easier on the turns oops I almost went past it I'm getting good at this driving thing oh is that okay I thought that was just like a car on fire it's just uh, Ralph keeping warm because he lives outside with the raccoons. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Oh, yeah, we got a new car. Sweet. Oh, yeah, the one we just tried. I always forget about that. Hey, Luigi. Hey, Tommy. Where is everybody? They're all at the track. Right. <gasps> I needed to get a little sleep after last night's job. Sure. Hello? Yes? Sorry, just got in. Sure. That's for you, Tom. Who is it? Who is it, Luigi? Tell me. Hello? Frank here. Tom, you did well yesterday, but now we need your help again. Come over to the racing track right away. That guy who was supposed to win the race got his arm broken by some thug. Probably no coincidence. Fuck. Anyway, you're gonna have to race. But, but, Frank, Tom, I... Tom, it's a half an hour before the race. So I don't have time to teach someone else how to drive. Christ, Tom, this concerns a big bag of money. I hope you understand that. Yeah, okay. Frank... So I expect to see you here at the track in a few minutes. Oh, Frank, you're putting me in between a rock and a hard place. You don't look too excited. That's because I ain't. Oh, Tommy telling it like it is. 
Let me out. Let me out. Oh, we gotta go through the back. Is Ralph gonna give us a sweet car? No. Nope. Dip, duck, dive, dodge, and dodge, and dip, and whatever. Let's get in our slow mobile. It's a nice color red, though. And we're gonna get to the track again. We should have just slept there. Maybe if Bobby was willing to cuddle in bed a little more, we wouldn't have to have uh, up and left so quickly. But no. That was weird. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to get there without referencing my map too often. Shit. Oh, I can't be in a hurry because it's daytime and all the cops are out getting their Dunkin' Donuts and Tim Hortons iced cappuccinos. Freaking jerks. Okay, we gotta turn left. Hey, remember, this is where we parked when uh, we were taking a break from taxi driving and then those assholes came and tried to beat me up and I was like, fuck you! And then I went to Salieri's bar and I was like, hey, dude! You owe me! You owe me! And he's like, yeah, I owe you. And then they killed the guys. Fuck you, cop. Think I'm gonna stop for you? I stop for nobody. Okay. Oh, there's another copper. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Sweet. Sam, I am. Yes, I am. Sam. Do you guys like Sean Penn? I always thought he's a pretty decent actor. He's a little cocky, but uh, I don't know. I guess when you make good movies and you win awards and stuff, you can be a little cocky. Okay. Yep, I'm going the right way. All right. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time, motherfuckers. Do I have a gun? I don't have a gun. Why wouldn't they give me a gun? I should always have a gun. See. If I had a gun, I could just shoot the other race car drivers in the heads. Or if that's too much for them, I could I could just sh shoot their tires out. And I'd be doing a service to the people watching. People watching love car crashes. They love huge balls of fire and stuff. Yeah? So why not just why not just be like, "All right, you want a show? Here's a show." And I massacre everybody else in the race. They'd love that. People love a good tragedy. You don't ever hear stories about kittens being rescued from trees. You hear stories about little five-year-old kids shooting each other and stuff like that. I'm telling you, people love tragedy. I know these things. Look at all these fancy cars. Where's mine? Oh, baby. Hmm. Hey, Tommy, I knew we could count on you. You really want me to do this? I've never raced before. Okay, I know it won't be easy, but we don't have a choice. If you can do it, we won't lose out. Do I look like I can do this? I don't even know the rules. Look, it's a cakewalk. You go five laps, you need to come in first for us to win. If you come in second, the dough's lost. But since we tuned that clown's car a little, everything should go smoothly. Also, at those speeds, it's quite normal for someone to bang into you. So watch out for those other bastards. Good luck, Tom. I know you can do it. Well, I don't believe it. <clears throat> Tom, half the neighborhood and all our boys bet on the Don's boy. Do you know what it would mean if you lost? The Don would lose. You would lose all the respect which we busted our asses to build up. People give us their trust as well as their dough. You understand what's at stake? Yeah, I got it, Frank. I understand. Take it easy, son. Show them what you're made of. I made a flesh and bone, just like you, Frank. Just like you. Okay? But, yes. I will give it my all. Um. Oh, there's Euro Trash. He's, he's already out of the race. Okay, we're blazing. We're, we're getting catching up to Red over here. What's going on, Red? There's a new man in town. It's 
me, the fox man. Okay, I gotta be careful. You guys, oh, see, these cars are hard as shit to steer because they're so narrow. Wider cars typically have better traction. So when you come out of a turn, you're not gonna get all swervy, pervy and shit. But in these cars, holy hell. Oh, fucking, I'm not even coming out of the turn and I'm already swerving into the fence. Okay, slow and steady. I'm not gonna crash. It's gonna be a kind of a dull race, to be honest. It's not NASCAR. It's not uh, Formula One. It's not a monster truck race or any of that. I don't, I don't want, oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, do not, do not touch my car. I'll find you after this race, and I will take my penis, and I'll put it in places that you haven't washed in months. And then we'll both get diseases, and that's not going to be very fun. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck? This car is so unpredictable. I don't think our mechanic, was, Lucas, was messing with this car. It's just like irrational. Okay. Push it. Step on it. Yeah, Traco. I love Traco. It's my favorite. I don't know what they're selling, but I'm buying. You, you got the small, medium, large. And you gotta have it. I gotta have it. I don't know what it is, but I gotta have it. Alright, I'm. We're done, we're done the first lap anyways. That's good, we're just taking it lap by lap, turn by turn. That's the only way you can do these races. Yeah, you have to have the overall goal in the back of your mind. It's gotta be sitting there, you gotta be like, yeah, I envision me crossing the checkered line. First place, yeah. Get, get, get some kisses from a couple of those hot babes that kiss you after you win racing and sporting events. Yeah, that's nice. But at the same time, you can't you can't let your vision be clouded by those hopes and dreams. You have to be real. You have to be in the moment too. And be like, shit, that can wait. Right now, I'm just gonna handle this fucked up thingy right here. Boom, boom. All right, we got it. Pump the brakes a bit. Pump the brakes a bit. Oh, you guys don't realize. You saw how I selected the easy difficulty. Easy is still really fucking hard in this race. I'm telling you, because if you flip your car, race is over. You gotta restart. If uh, you get too far behind, because guys are screwing you over, too bad. You gotta start over. You have to get first place. You have to. It's the only way. So that's why I'm being so careful. I'm still kicking ass though. Um. Wow, I am. Maybe I'll break, if I break the course, or lap record for this course, that'd be cool. They'd be like, who is this Tommy fellow? Who is he? He is amazing. And I'll be like, I'm just a taxi driver, y'all. And I'll do it in a, in a southern accent, too. Like, hey, y'all, I'm just a taxi driver, y'all. Y'alls want to go and get some, uh, some sauerkraut and some some jelly and just make a sandwich a sauerkraut and jelly sandwich y'all yeah we can drink some relish wash it down with some relish and uh, vinegar all right y'all man oh I actually got a guy still kind of on my ass you can see him on the radar there I gotta be careful that that turn is actually really tricky because that's one where you can flip your car pretty fucking easily and also right here you ramp up on that uh, on the bank and you're done you're done son all right we're gone it's gonna be close though I gotta I gotta put some distance between me and the second place guy I don't like him can we beat uh, my personal best because I was going pretty slow on that last one Oh, I tied it. Almost, I think. I don't know. I didn't get down to the milliseconds. I wasn't paying attention last time. Alright, we're gonna push it this lap. 
all right? Lap four. And then lap five, we're gonna be extra careful. Just because that's what it comes down to. Ho hum, biddy biddy bum bum, ho hum, biddy biddy bum bum, ho hum, 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 ho hum, 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 ho hum, 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 hum. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go, 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 go. It's getting a little choppy for some reason. Fucker. Okay, I can still do this. See? Oh wow, that's close. That's really close. For some reason the game is just like, getting crazy choppy. And this doesn't make any sense. Why are you getting so choppy, game? You're 2000. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh shit, shit, son! Oh my god! Holy crap! How did I fucking survive that? Holy poop. I don't even know. My car is really dented in the rear, but it's still good. It's still good. Oh wow, that I've never, ever, ever survived anything like that in this race. And you heard him too, he's like, oh! Because he landed on his head. This guy's got no roll cage or anything like that. Back in this day, racing was real. All right, we're going, we're going. Pump the brakes, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Take, take it nice and easy. I'm not spinning out anymore. This is bullshit. We're almost there. Oh, I, I got a new best lap time, 136. I beat it by a second. That's nice. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. You don't have to be proud of me, but I'll be proud of me. Pat myself on the back. Pat myself on the dick, too. You know. Makes you feel extra good. You can pat me on the dick if you want. Just be gentle. Watch out for the crabs. They'll get you. Alright, we're doing alright, but we've got two guys right on our ass. And my car is damaged, and I think damage slight- Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, I, you guys can't tell, but on the radar, that guy was right on me. Right on me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's where we crashed last time. Oh, crap. It's gonna come down to the wire. I'm feeling it. I feel them putting the pressure on me, and my heart is really going. Oh, crap. Adrenaline is flowing. Oh, come on. Unleash the fox man. Here's the final turn. Fox man, unleash. Go. Goochie goochie go. Fox man is coming to get you. He's gonna rip your heart out with his teeth. Yeah, Fox man. -na 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 Fox man. Yay, we won. It's one of the harder missions in the game, and it's pretty early on. That's me! Yeah, I got a trophy! And a, and a wreath thingy, a scarf or something. You're a lifesaver. Nice. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tommy. You're really one of us now. A lot of people made a lot of money on that race, Tommy. And you get all the credit. So you won't come out short. You should stop by and see Lucas Bertoni. He also bet and won a pile of money. So he wants to repay you, too. Somehow. Okay, I will. Congratulations, you big Thanks. hero. Hello, ladies. You want to have sex with me? Let's have some sex. I'm a, I'm a hero, as you put it. And I guess the mission isn't over yet. We got to... Uh... What was it? Drive to Lucas. Bertoni's. Is it Bertoni or Bertone? Bertoni? I'm gonna say Bertoni. I like adding the E sound on, on everything. It just makes it sound friendlier. 
Hey, watch yourself, buddy. I'm a hero. Didn't you hear? I'm a hero. Boxman a hero? I always thought him as like of him as an anti-hero. You know, he does good things. He's he's like maybe more chaotic neutral or something. Not necessarily good or bad, but fuck shit up nonetheless. It's Foxman. I mean, he's good at heart, but he doesn't always show it. Cause that'd be cheesy. Oh, friggin' cop. Put on my speed limiter. Don't you cut me off. I see you trying to turn left, but you're in the right lane. That ain't cool, man. Just cause you're a cop doesn't mean you, uh, get free pass from following the laws. If anything, you should be following the laws more than anybody else. You gotta set an example. Can't be hypocritical. That's the biggest thing I hate with authority. It's like, I don't have a problem obeying the law. It's when other people don't. And then they're like, hey, you gotta obey the law. And I'm like, well, you didn't do it. So why, what incentive do I have to do it? You know? Oh, we gotta go. Ah, it's just a cop on foot. Oh shit, but there's a cop in a car. Don't arrest me. Alright, thanks bro. We're going to see Lucas. He is a flucus. He's got some mucus in his butt. But that ain't mucus. No, 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 no. That is semen. And the kind that don't hang out on boats. No, no, no. The kind that come from your nutsack, yo. Why is the game getting all choppy on me? This doesn't make any sense, you see? Seriously, what? There? Okay, there we go. That's the other thing about this game, being 10 years old. Shit's just like, sometimes it is a little tiny bit buggy. And I can guarantee you it's not gonna be your computer because the recommended specs, the recommended, not the minimum, the recommended is a Pentium 3 processor. Pentium 3! Okay? You know? You could play this game with your gosh darned uh, smartphone for crying out loud. So it's just sometimes it's a little tiny bit buggy, but I forgive it, so you should too, because it's awesome. Hello. Is there anyone home? Hey, Tommy, right here. Hey, Tom, congratulations on winning, huh? Oh, you did great. I didn't really think you'd do it at first, uh, but when you got going, I knew how it would end, yeah. Thanks to you, I won a big bag of money. And just so you know I'm not ungrateful, I'll teach you a few tricks. Oh, Do you yeah. see that, Butte? <gasps> Yes, I see it. Well, now I can't give it to you, oh. but I can show you how to lift one and where. Watch how easy it is to get into this baby. That was really easy. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. Look there at this There you dick. go. Piece of cake. Okay. I figure I can manage that. There's another one that belongs to a loaded official down at City Hall. And during the day, it sits in a car lot behind a municipal building on Central Island. I think I might go and check if it's, uh, parked correctly. <laughs> when you get tired of that, stop back here. I always have something new. Thanks, Lucas. I'll come by sometime after work. I'll be seeing you. I like you, Lucas. Uh, steal. Wait, where's my car? Oh, here we go. They got valet parking service here. Where are we going? Oh, we gotta go back all the way over to the other island. Damn you, Balthazar! Damn you! Damn you, dirty apes! Pepe's restaurant. Oh, I wanna go to Pepe's. Maybe I'll go later. Maybe I will go later. Actually, there's this place uh, in the town I used to, I went to for university in uh, Ontario. It's like Kitchener, Waterloo. It's kind of like two cities in one. They just merge together. Oh, cop, what are you going to do? Are you going to catch me? Are you going to run uphill over this giant bridge to catch me? 
Anyways, there's this place called, uh, was it Peppy? Yeah, it was Peppy's. Peppy's. And, uh, best pizza I've ever had, bar none. And it was like simple pizza, too. We ordered it into our studio at like midnight while we were working on shit. And it was just kind of pepperoni and mozzarella with some bruschetta tomatoes and feta cheese and like olive oil drizzled on top. Best pizza ever. So simple, but so fudge and good. Cop, don't bust me. I'm, I'm not running the red light. Good. Okay, where's... We're almost there. Come on, turn green, please. Alright, now I can go. Straight ahead and then to the right. Oh yeah, I think I see it. Is it that little, uh yellow no it's it's the cross oh yeah the yellow is the trolleys I forgot about that silly Michael where is this bad boy? oh yeah and if you remember this is the car of the guy we had to chase in the first episode and we got him I wanted this car ever since. Oh, look at that green on there. Let's check this out. This is nice. You got a grill, some nice headlights, some spare tires. And it's soft top. Okay. Um, hopefully these guys... Oh, wait. That's a cop right there. I'm going I'm to crouch. You don't see anything. Oh, V16. Do you know what that means? That means it's fast. Real fucking fast. And it's styly. This is like the Rolls Royce, man. It looks classy and luxurious, but shit, it'll knock you back in your seat, I'm telling you. I feel like I'm there. Um, all right, let's go back to Salieri's. I'm gonna go over here. That one bridge. It's the drawbridge. Man, are you guys jealous of me yet? I got babes calling me hero. I got sweet yellow convertible cars with V16 engines. I got a uh, pretty good looking face. You know, I got a nice body, pinstripe suit. Part of uh, the most powerful family in town. What, what, what more could you want? My life is made. I'd be jealous of the fox man too. It's okay. Just accept it. Be like, all right. I can't have what you have, but I can root for you. That's all I want. I just want you to root for me. It's not so much to ask. Oh, oh, pump it, pump it. Oh, you nudged my car? You did not nudge my car. I mean, you did, but you did not just do that. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Remember when we were driving that car ahead of us? <laughs> Piece of shit. I should kill you. I should kill you for driving such a shitty car, man. You're a disgrace to the roads. Oh, fucking stupid. I gotta lose this cop ticket thingy before I can park the car. Whoa, watch it! Oh, you shithead! Okay, finally, we lost him. Slam the brakes. We're going back! No man left behind! Not behind enemy lines! It doesn't make any sense given the context that we're just going to park the car in a garage. Not even a garage, parking lot, I suppose. Alright. This is a long beast, though. It's hard to get in here. Oh, almost, almost dinged it. Okay, I'm gonna take the time to park this bitch proper. Come on, come on, check all the mirrors. All right, back up slowly. 
All right, good job. Not only is Foxman a great racer, he's a great parker. Peter Parker? Yeah, he's no match for me. Yeah, let's go in. And yeah. So I made a few new friends and got my first luxury car. It didn't seem so bad being a gangster. All right, dudes and dudettes, I will catch you in the next episode. Peace out. One love.